and welcome back and as you can see we are doing the next part on our aerial image from Saga Oxagna by Emily Lederhall Orbig and we are going to be colouring in the fish and they are going to be based off of the colours of flounder which is Ariel's best friend so the general fish are going to be yellow and then the fins and all of the little extras are going to be blue so i've picked some colors out already for the yellow and the blues flounder has two different types of blue he has a lighter blue and a darker blue so i will be doing both but for yellows i am going to use lemon yellow and that is pc915 I also have Canary Yellow, which is PC916, and then Sunburst Yellow, which is PC917, and just in case, I also have my White, which is PC938, and I'm just going to make sure that every time I use them, they have a sharp point, and for that, I am using the Tegal Sharpener. And you can choose which setting you want to sharpen it on. And I have it on number one, which gives the Prismacolors a nice, small point. So that it is less of a surface for the point to break. And I'll use that same setting on all of my Prismas. So like I normally do, I'm just going to give the area I want yellow. A base coat in the lightest color so in this instance that is the lemon yellow and I'm just going to do the whole area and on his head as well and also his eyebrow and then I'm going to do the same for these three little sections here Then I'm going to go in with my darkest yellow and that is the sunburst yellow and this is where I'm going to add my shadowing and I'm just going to start off with a fairly heavy pressure and fade that out. And then the same on this section. Do that on both sides. And then I'm going to do some shadowing under this fin. only in the sections that would be yellow at the moment and then again I'm just going to shade that bit out I'm then going to go in with my middle colour which is the canary yellow just give that a sharpen there and go over what you've already done and again blend outwards and you do that for all sections And then I'm going to come back in again with the lemon yellow and just make sure that the canary yellow is blended out. And 
And then we're going to do the same for the blues. So I'm going to come in to do the darkest blue first. And for that I'm using light cerulean blue in PC904. Ultramarine in PC902. And indigo blue in PC901. And again I'm just going to do the areas that I want dark blue with the light cerulean blue first as a base coat and do some of his spots the dark blue And I'll do this stripe at the back, the dark blue as well. And then again, I'm going to come in with my darkest blue to lay the shadow down first. And just like the yellow, you're just going to start off dark and fade it out. I'm going to make it so the ends of the fins are lightest. And then with the spot, I'm just going to keep one side of the spot dark and fade it out to the other side lighter. I'm then going to come in with my medium colour blue and that is the ultramarine. And I'm going to go over what I've already done and again fading it out. And do that on all the sections. And then come back in again with your lightest blue, which is the light cerulean blue. And just make sure that that all fades out. And there's no sharp edging. And then we'll just do the same again but for the light blue sections. So this time I'm going to be using electric blue and that's 1040. Cerulean blue and that is PC103. And then cobalt blue hue and that is PC133. And again, I'm going to put my light layer down on all of the sections. This time I'm going to do his eye as well. And then just a light coat on all of the other sections that you want to be blue.
Then I'm coming in with my darkest shade for these ones, and that is the Cobalt Blue Hue. And like before, just start at the base for the fins, doing your darkest and fading it out. And I'll do that for all the sections again. Be very careful you don't drag your yellow in because you'll turn your bluey green. And then your middle colour which was the cerulean blue and just go over what you did and drag it out. And then bring back your electric blue and go over making sure that there are no sharp edges. It's quite subtle these colours but there is a distinct difference between that and my dark blue selection. And then just to finish your little fishy off, if you grab a black pasta pen, which I do have one in my little pen pot here, give it a good shake and then just add that in there. Then get a white Posca pen, give that a good shake and I'm just going to put a shine down its fin Let's give this another shake This one and down its tail fin and then just adding a normal shine line in its eye there and that is your little flounder fish done and Continue doing that with the other two fish. You have the one up here in the corner and then you also have the big one down here. I'll do those off screen and then I'll be back once they are done. See you soon. Okay, and I'm back. And as you can see, I have coloured the rest of the fish in to match the first one. And I'm going to leave it off there and then the stream later today I will be completing the picture by doing the background which I will be using Neo 2's on and colouring in the bubbles and just doing the extra details on the page and that will be our July colour along completed and next month I will be doing a page from 
Kristen Glorious Inc, aka Mr. Art Mirror's Fairy Tales book. So I'll see you in the stream. Bye guys, thanks for watching.